Hi there, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the Team Planner in Microsoft Project. So you can see I have a very basic schedule, you get some tasks here and they've been linked together in some instances, not in others. I'm going to show you how you can use the Team Planner to assign the resources to the tasks within your project. So first of all I'm going to click on Team Planner and here we can see on the left hand side, in fact let's remove this uh, timeline out of the way. I have another video on timeline, check that out. Um, we have our resources on the left hand side, Tom, Dick and Harry. They have been already previously built out for me just by inserting the names within the resource sheet view, which now allows me to take the tasks that I have and you can see how they're forecasted over time. So I kind of like this view because you can see the days of the week, the weekends, days, etc, etc, so on and so forth. And you can see how they are going to lie. And in fact, you can pull this up so you can see better. So you can see how they're currently squared up and where they're going to be. So you can see some of them are overlapping. So task one and four and five and six are overlapping. So you probably wouldn't want to assign those to the same resource. Let's take a look at it. So to assign the resources to the task or the task to the resources, it's a good idea to drag over to the name of the person and just put it where it needs to be. Because if you do that up here, you're actually going to be pushing the task out into the future. Maybe that's what you want to do. But you probably want to assign it to person. I'm going to assign it to Tom. Good to go. Task two, we'll assign that to Dick. And then task three, spelled incorrectly. I'm just going to try and drag that up. And then we'll put that one on Dick as well. There we go. Great. So quick and easy. Now we're getting into trouble where we've got tasks that need to be that are going to be over allocated. So task four, if I assign that to Tom. Boom, straight away, we see the infamous red man. And you can see the layer of time where we're over allocated. So at this point, you could take corrective action. The two kind of things you could do uh, is make them 50-50 on each task or push task four out, right? The right thing to do might be to, to link them or think, why can't these tasks be done together simultaneously? Or you could say that they'd work 50% on one task, 50% on another. Or we could just push them out like so. Now, the downside of doing that, if I click on task four and go back to the Gantt chart view, we'll see that that task now has a constraint. So when you manually push a task out, even in the team planner, it's got to use a constraint to push that date out to start on the Monday, whereas we probably should have linked it to task one, then it would have done that. So avoid moving the, moving the tasks around in here because you will apply constraints to those tasks which means that you know if we were to assign this task task two now uh, instead of to dick we put it on harry it still can't be done before the monday which is not right right obviously now we could drag it back but it already has a link on there so it's not allowing us to do it all right so task four i could do the same thing put that on dick Again, it's not going to allow us to do it because it has a scheduling constraint. Task two, not going to allow us to do it because it is linked to a task. So it's not going to allow us to do it. So you can see the two differences. Task four, task two, same result. You cannot move them around. For task four, if I click on it, go back to the Gantt chart, I could remove that start now earlier than constraint. You can just click in the date and delete it. And that deletes that constraint. So I just press delete on the keyboard there. Back to the team planner. So the nice thing about this is you can see as you assign people what's going on, what's kind of a preview. Oh, task two is going to be overlapping there. Maybe I'll put that one on there and move task two up to Dick. Good to go. Task six, who's available? Well, no one's going to be available for that one. Probably need to think of another resource or maybe there's a, some kind of dependency or I could level it out somehow. But, uh, you know, what I'm going to do is just assign it to Tom. Ooh, there we go. Let me try that again. Assign it to Tom. Task 6 or both. And we can see that he's over allocated. Go back to the Gantt chart. I can see that Tom's working on this one. Over allocated. Tom's working on this one. Over allocated. And obviously we can level that by right clicking and rescheduling it to an available date. Like so. That's the way to do it. That actually adds a leveling delay, All right? So if I was to insert the column here, leveling delay, 
that's what makes a project is used behind the scenes to push that task out rather than a constraint. So now if I was to assign this to somebody else, it, it, would, it would allow them to be, uh, it would allow that task to be done because it doesn't have a constraint constraining the start date of that task. So that's the team planner. Hope you like it and use it on a daily basis if you like. Cheers.